everybody welcome to the walkway I'm Jessica today's video is going to be our second grade year in review so in case you are not sure what our second grade year was supposed to look like I'm gonna link that up here for you guys there you can see all of the things we had planned to do for our second grade homeschool year and you'll be able to compare it to our mid-year review which you can find here and then now our year in review so our year did not obviously go as planned I don't think anybody's year went as planned Nobody was expecting to have a pandemic hit mid homeschool year and kind of derail everything. So I'm trying to be very graceful with myself and keep that in mind when I'm reviewing our year because let's be honest, nobody homeschooled to their best to their best potential from end of February until the end of the year. Like it just we were living through a crisis, you guys. So it's okay that you didn't get everything done. We didn't get everything done. And we definitely were not at our best and at 100%. Um, I made some notes so I wouldn't forget. So the first thing I wanted to let you guys know in our year in review is that we did hit almost all of those second grade goals that I had set for her. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, I will link a video up here where I talk about setting goals for our homeschool. So I set specific goals for language arts and math every year. And we hit, I believe, all but two of those. We we hit them we just she mastered all but two of those so those will roll over to third grade and I will soon be sharing with you guys our third grade goals I will actually be filming me planning and kind of setting those goals so you'll have a better idea of how I do that and you'll be able to see that firsthand and join me for that so that will be coming soon but we did master 98% um, of what I would say of those goals that I had set for second grade for her uh, we did finish 30 weeks, which is what is in the um, Daily Fundamentals from Evan Moore. We did actually finish those. That was a personal goal Emily set for herself. She told herself kind of like mentally that when they were done, she was done with second grade. And so the last two weeks, I believe she was doing like a full week in a day, which that was not a goal that I set. That was not something I put on her at all because you guys know I don't necessarily feel like we need to complete something to have done you know the school year I had kind of already mentally set a stop date in my mind because I just knew that we just all needed a break we needed to just be a family and not be homeschooling or working or really doing anything we just needed to just be like we're home let's just enjoy each other and just stop give ourselves all a break um, and she actually finished the daily fundamentals two days before I had set that mental day for her so that was really cool um, obviously we all know that our years all fell off the rails in March so everything was going really great we had a very very successful homeschool year up until March when everything kind of hit the fan and then things switched gears a little bit it wasn't quite as successful as I would have liked we didn't finish with that bang we normally finished with but I think it was still a very successful year overall looking at the big picture uh, curriculum wise we finished about three quarters of Passport to More Adventures we did I believe there's only six six or seven units we didn't get to, which we may roll those over to next year. We may do them this summer. I'm not sure yet. Make sure you stay tuned. I will let you guys know what our plans are for the summer and what they are for the upcoming third grade homeschool year. Um, we only finished about half of Waldox Wizards and Wands. We stopped about the time coronavirus hit because we were entering into the later books of, Waldox, of the Harry Potter series where it gets a little bit darker and Emily's anxiety was already on high because of the situation. And even though she swore she could handle the books and maybe she could, I just didn't feel like it was the right time to be trying to read, you know, some darker books while her anxiety was already on high. I just felt like it was time for us to kind of take a break from reading them. We did continue on with the unit we were doing, which was herbology. So we completed three of the units in Waldock Wizards and Wands, and we read the first three books. So again, we will probably continue on with that, whether in the summer or in third grade. Stay tuned to find out. And we also did a handful of our Who Was units. Um, we really, really enjoy those. We will definitely be making more of those. We will definitely be doing more of those. Emily has deemed them big head books, and she absolutely loves them. So I foresee those becoming um, a huge part of our homeschool for history because they're just so much fun and there's so much learning that can happen with them. And we went on a ton of deep dives with doing those. So I'm excited about that. While I didn't get to as many field trips as I would have liked, luckily the front half of our year happened to be very heavy on field trips. So looking at it overall, we did about the same number of field trips that we would normally do. 
Um, maybe I somehow knew that something was going to happen and didn't know it, but our front year, our front half of our year was very heavily loaded with field trips. So it kind of evened out. We took quite a few. We enjoyed a whole lot of them. Obviously, as always, our favorites were some of our ones to Disney. Um, the second half of the year, I, it was funny because I didn't really schedule Emily for a lot of online classes the first half. I just didn't feel like they had a huge place in our day. But the second half of the year, we ended up taking a ton because she needed them for social interaction. So we took, I mean, she took classes on, um, I love animals. What kind of jobs are there? Veterinarian, wild crafting, big cats, Lego. I mean, there was just a ton of classes that she took and loved. So that was really cool because, you know, her getting to be taught from other teachers. So I will link some of our favorites in the description box down below for you guys. Um, also, my one thing. So in case you don't know about my one thing, I will link it up here for you guys. I choose one thing every single school year to try really hard to master for it to become a habit for us by the end of the school year. Our one thing for second grade was poetry tea time. Um, and you can see a little bit more of our poetry tea time. I think we mastered it. We did really well. We did a minimum of two poetry tea times every month, sometimes more. And I feel like they have a very good place in our homeschool now. I feel very confident in saying that we successfully did that one thing and that they will continue to successfully be done in the coming school years. Um, I have a pretty good idea of what our one thing is for third grade. You'll have to stay tuned. Me and Emily are going to announce it together. We all sat down as a family and we threw a couple ideas back and forth. And ultimately, I kind of got overruled this year and Emily and Daddy um, kind of chose the one thing. So I'm all on board for it. I totally agree. I don't disagree. I'm excited for it. Um, but I kind of got overruled. So I will let you guys know what our one thing is very, very soon. And then... Obviously, we read a lot of books, we played a lot of games, and we had a really fun time together. So, is this our most successful year of homeschooling ever? No. <laughs> Coronavirus kind of had a, you know, it kind of stopped that from being our most successful year. But was it a successful homeschool year? Absolutely. We had a ton of fun. Like I said, we learned a lot. We enjoyed each other. Um, I feel very confident in saying that second grade was very successful and that we are all excited to see what our next homeschool year in third grade looks like. Now, I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Are you done with your homeschool year? How was your homeschool year? Would you say that it was successful, not successful? And if it wasn't successful, why not? Because if I have any tips or if other people have any tips, I would love to be able to help you guys out so that we can all help each other uh, make sure that next year is successful. Mm -hmm.